Hey guys, welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about Bombay Blood Group. Now how I came across this particular blood grouping system is, I have a friend who has blood group O. Her father is blood group B. But her mother is having blood group A, B. Now we know for the fact that if either of the parent is having AB blood group, then they will definitely transfer either A or B to the child. So the child cannot have blood group O. But here in this case, she was classified as blood group O. But actually, she had something called as Bombay blood group. So that is what we are going to see today, what exactly this Bombay blood group is. So let's begin. To understand Bombay blood group, let's start briefly with our ABO blood grouping system. We know that we are classified as A, B, A, B or O based on specific type of carbohydrate moiety present on H substance of RBC. And what this H substance is? H substance is addition of l fucose to the precursor chain of RBC. This precursor chain can be any oligosaccharide or glycoprotein present on RBC plasma membrane. So we contain H gene that codes for specific transferase which transfers l fucose to the precursor chain. Now this assembly is H substance where you have L fucose attached to precursor chain. And this H substance makes or builds the foundation for blood group A and B. Say for example, if the person contains gene A, they will have again specific transferase enzyme because we know that people, those who are classified A, will have N-acetyl-galactosamine attached to H substance. That means they have specific gene which codes for N-acetyl-galactose-aminyl transferase, I know it's very long, that transfers N-acetyl-galactosamine to the H substance. If an individual contains gene B, which is galactosyl transferase, that will transfer D-galactose to H substance and they will be classified as blood group B. In some cases, both A and B are present, then there are two enzymes produced and two carbohydrate moieties are added to two different H substances present on RBC. Now, the individuals who do not have this A and B gene, they would have only gene for H. As a result, only H substance is made, they are classified as O. Generally, we have this concept that okay, A and B, you know, nothing is present, they are classified as O. No, the individual which has only gene H, that means they have only l fucose attached to RBC, they are classified as blood group O. When you say there is nothing present on RBC, that is where exactly Bombay blood group comes into picture. Because this is a phenomenon where the individual has a very rare homozygous recessive condition for H gene. That means the gene, both the alleles are mutated. Okay. As a result, they cannot produce active or they, there is no fucosyl transferase enzyme. As a result, L-fucose is not added to precursor chain and there is no H substance produced. The precursor chain is as it is on the RBC. Now, even though such individuals may carry active or normal A and B gene, which will produce normal specific transferase. But because they don't have X substance, these enzymes fail to add the carbohydrate moiety, even though they contain normal gene. Now, such individuals are classified as Bombay blood group, who have the homozygous recessive condition for H gene. Now, we also are familiar with this fact that whatever blood group we are, we are going to produce antibody against the other blood group. Say for example, individual with blood group O has only H substance on RBC. There is no A antigen or B antigen. So such O blood group would have antibody against A and B both. Similarly, blood group A individual would have antibody against blood group B. B would have against A. If the individual is AB, they will not have antibody against any kind of blood. But what happens in case of Bombay blood group? Now this is Bombay, you understood. Bombay means there is 
nothing present on RBC, not even its substance. So in case of Bombay blood group, individuals will have antibody against all three antigens. H antigen, A antigen and B antigen. Now how this Bombay blood group is misunderstood as uh, blood group O because when you do normal blood grouping test, we check for antibody against blood group A and B. What happens in case of blood group O individual, they will have both A and B antibodies. So in that uh, blood grouping test, we will see agglutination in both A and B and we class classified the blood group as O. In case of Bombay blood group also, they will have antibody against A and B both because it does not contain any antigen on RBC surface and they will be classified as uh, blood group O because we don't check for H antigen in normal blood grouping test. Now, one interesting fact about this Bombay blood group is if the individual has A or B gene, normal A or B gene or maybe both A and B, they will transfer this A and B gene to their offspring. So that is what Bombay blood group is. That an individual does not have functional H gene or I can say H gene is mutated. As a result, there is no fucosyl transferase no transfer of L-fucose, no formation of H-substance. If H-substance is absent, the individual even though it has A or B gene cannot add carbohydrate moiety to the RBC. And thus it has only RBC and precursor chain. Because it has no antigen, individual will produce antibody against H antigen, A antigen and B antigen. And that is why it is very very important when the blood transfusion has to happen for Bombay blood group. It has to be amongst Bombay blood group only. So that's all. Even though these individuals might have functional A or B gene, because they don't have H substance, it is not expressed on the surface. And why it is called as Bombay blood group? Because it was first discovered in Bombay in India. So that's all for now. Hope that was interesting. Do subscribe to the channel for new video every Friday. You can also visit my Facebook page for regular updates. And I'll see you next time. Until then, keep learning.